Finally, I can say welcome back to Dark Nest Travels. How's everybody doing? How's your summer going? Has it been as humid where you are as it is here in Pennsylvania? I hope not. It's been almost unbearable here. Um, although we're nearing the end of August, as you see by this video, and we're starting to cool down at night, which is a relief on the air conditioner, and it's a relief on everything. So we've seen a lot of beautiful places in Pennsylvania since we've been here, all of which I'm going to share with you, watcher, uh, starting next week. Um, so make sure you come back, make sure you hit that alert button and subscribe button on the channel so you can see and experience what we have through video. Um, there's a couple things I wanted to talk about. Uh, living in the mothership full-time, uh, there's been a couple of things that I've run across that no matter what you've read prior to full-timing, if you're just a weekend camper, you're never going to experience this, but the shitter. Yes, the shitter. Now, during these real humid days, that shitter and the gray tank, believe it or not, that gray tank where your dish water, your shower water, your sink water all goes into, can start smelling pretty funky, if not like shit itself. So I recommend during the humid days, at least empty in that gray tank. We have a full hookup site here. I don't leave it open because of bugs and insects and all that horse stuff that comes out of the, or not horse stuff, but all that stuff that comes out of the septic field, you don't want into your RV. So I keep it all closed until I decide to empty it. Prior to living in this mothership full-time here in Pennsylvania, we were in Florida, which was mild. There wasn't a lot of humidity down there during the winter as much as there has been here consistently. I would normally empty once every seven days, six to seven days. That's good, healthy septic maintenance, and I would flush the black tank out with a hose. During these humid days, I recommend every three to four days and flushing your black tank out with lots of water to stop that toilet paper buildup or what they call a poop pyramid. <laughs> I need it like that. Uh, so that's the first thing I learned. Um, now, here in Pennsylvania, we have experienced a lot of the beauty here. Um, a lot of the beauty comes from the Blue Mountain behind us. And also there's a city we visited that's on fire beneath the grounds. There's a large ass book barn, which is right up my alley. I've met some really cool writers. I've installed some security devices on the mothership and I purchased something that's gonna be of use. All of those videos are coming starting next week. So stay tuned. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for continuing to watch me, all 25 of you or whoever stops by here. Um, and I, I do appreciate each of you watching this mug and buying my fiction of course you can't forget that so on that note head over to timeaglefiction.com read my blog which has been really interesting as of late uh, it's delving into my background and coming up into the future and i met someone really strange in florida the first year we wintered down there that you definitely don't want to miss out on on the blog so sign up for my newsletter over there thanks so much i'll make this video short stay tuned next week and hit that alert button. We'll see you very soon.